C3 Alpha Singapore 2018. Last year, it recorded a staggering 96,100 visitors coming from various parts of Southeast Asia. This has been considered one of the biggest sought-after events in the region. C3 Alpha, a joint brand of Singapore-based Sozo and Japan-based Sotsu Agency, is formed in 2017, making it the largest event network of its kind in the region. This 2018 will mark the 10th year anniversary of Anime Festival Asia. I've been going to events since 2009. My passion for this led me to blog about these and eventually become an associate for an events company. For years, I have envied my friends who went there and saw it up close until I finally took the chance now. Having sacrificed things in order to fulfill this trip, what will become of me once I start my journey to this uncharted territory? February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Almost 10 months. I started applying for my passport February. I got my passport flawlessly. April, I got my plane ticket to Singapore. A few months after, I got my hotel booking. It's just a backpack hotel but it's, it's sufficient. I believe it's sufficient enough for me. And as I continue to research, as I continue to wait for the opening of the tickets that I'm buying for C3 Alpha SG. Uh, I waited and researched for the things that I can do. So far naman, I'm confident that I am prepared in my first and perhaps my last journey overseas. So, wish me luck! <laughs> so, here's what's in my bag. Um, I got my batteries. I got the lights. I got this for 500 plus at Lazada. I got my camera. It's not that, uh, pop, uh, not that modern, but it's like this. And I also got this nifty OTG device from CDR Kings. Around, uh, you should prepare around 200 pesos for this. And uh, that's what my equipment uh, going to Singapore. So yun nga, no? all of these things have been happening to me once that I decided na yes I will go to Singapore, yes I will go to Anime Festival Asia, yes I will celebrate their 10th anniversary, yes this is my time because I have no time to waste. Next year I'll be going on an adulting mode, the, there will be more responsibilities, there will be more things to do, hindi ko na magagawa itong mga bagay nito. For the past 5, 6, 7, 8 years, I've been with this community and siguro naman it's time for me to take another step. I've I've seen a lot. I've experienced happiness, sadness and all the drama that it has and all the positive things that it has, all the inspiration. Maybe it's time, sabi ko. Maybe it's time. And uh, prior to all these things, prior to this decision, my friends have been to AFA and syempre, selos ako. The fact that it's the nearest, most possible event that I'll be able to go, it's time. Another challenge in my journey is the tickets going into AFA. Months before AFA, they've just announced their ticket prices. I'm eagerly waiting for that and luckily I was able to save money enough for me to buy a general admission plus concert ticket sa CTA for Singapore. The other question is, what are the activities on these days? Day 1, Day 2, Day 3. Day 2 talaga. I was fixated on buying the Day 2 ticket. And I'm glad I made that decision actually. Another challenge that I have in this journey is the fact that I have to learn the conversion rate between Singapore dollars, Philippine pesos, and the transport inside Singapore. 
I have a lot of things in my mind as I go through this trip, you know, especially that it's on a weekend. And of course, I still have to go to church and all that, you know, uh, having been thankful of this blessing. And of course, uh, another challenge here that has been solved is sino yung mga kakilala ko na pupunta? Sino yung mga uh, familiar na sa Singapore? Sino yung mga nakapunta na sa APA? Sino yung mga friends ko na pupunta? Sino yung pwede ko makapagpicturean aside from these uh, visitors who will go to APA? Of all these challenges, ang pinakamahirap talaga is yung flights. Flights make up half of my travel budget. So, that's one thing to ponder if you're going to APA next year. Siguro, if I didn't decide to start my journey right now, start my journey this year, and I'll be tied to my obligations for the rest of my life by next year, I'm going to regret the rest of my life not doing it. Total sakto naman eh. It's, it's a 10 years of APA. It's my first trip. It's that time na I've sacrificed my resources, my emotions, my... Siguro almost everything, if not all. Okay, it's the last day of our work today. And in just a few hours, I'll be embarking on a different adventure, something that I have not done before, and I'm looking forward to everything that I will be doing right in this new adventure. No, it's been months, and I've said this again: it's been months. All of the preparations, all of the things that uh, so far happened. I'm looking forward to this. I'm really looking forward to this. Hopefully, wala mangyaring masama. So, we've just cleared immigration. We've just cleared... Um, everything's, everything's settled. So, uh, one thing's for sure, I'm just waiting for the flight. And... Yeah, I'm friends. Alright, good morning guys. It's around uh, 4.37 in the morning and now I'm here at Naia Terminal 3 and I'll be embarking on a different adventure. Yeah, so it's a very early, early morning stream. Hindi ko pa mababanggit ang plano ko at na moment but some people do already know what what again again what I'm saying is may gagawin ako and I'll tell you about it once I get to the destination so Sherwin how long have you been attending events so far since 2011 mm, 2011 right so pinaka unang event mo Cosplay Fusion. Yeah, okay. Hello, Jeff. Hmm, sa so SMR Kina. This is an SMR Kina, no? No, it's a Rockwell. Rockwell? Power plant. Oh, wow. That's, a, that's something different. Um, pinaka major event na napuntahan mo in the past years. Cosplay Mania. Cosplay Mania, pa rin. Uh, I think APCC. Hmm. Hmm, yeah. Especially APCC. Yes. First time mo sa APA. Yes, my first time. <laughs> Alright, same time. <laughs> Siguro, one of the lessons that I've learned so far in this journey, in every journey, every flight, uh, is that you need to have a connecting a loyalty account to your uh, to your flight. This will help you save more on the future flights that you may want to plan, and especially I'm. Uh, flying with Cebu Pacific and they have this get go program and they just had this seat sale um, mapapabilis ang plano nyo na mag travel sa ibang lugar trust me almost dead
to Singapore. But then we approximately three hours and ten minutes. We're set a cruise at an altitude of thirty-six thousand feet. So there's this nifty great uh, Wi-Fi password here. You just scan your passport details into the scanner and they will give you the one-time password for your kiosk. And yes, this is pretty great. It's pretty great. Uh, I tested it and now I'm connected to the Wi-Fi here at Changi Airport. And yes, I'm here at Changi Airport, Singapore. Okay, so I'm now outside Changi uh, T4 and this is the lobby. So I just got my travel SIM card and well, looking forward to have this used. Uh, it's for seven days, but I'm only here for a short stay, shorter than seven days. So let's see what we can do with this. And now here uh, we're here at the MR uh, MRT station. Yeah, thank you for uh, for lending me the. Uh, I say uh, this one. I have this ticket. Yeah, so I'm not sure what to do with this, but I think it's it can be used for like six times. I don't know, maybe. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so just finished checking in and uh, we're going now to Santec City for uh, a brief uh, tour uh, so that I can prepare the things that I will need to do for C3 AFA Singapore 2018. Okay, so just been through the uh, Bromel station and I got this 90 cents uh, bread. It should be okay for me for the meantime as I go uh, find a way or find the uh, food with friends. You go later in the night. Finally, I'm here at Suntec City and I'm here at the Suntec Singapore Convention Exhibition Center for C3 Alpha Singapore 2018. This time, Team Labas Monaco. And by far, uh, what I'm going to do is to roam around, check uh, the shot list that I have, and check if I can uh, take a few shots. So, yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so one of the uh, great amenities here at Suntech so far is this vending machine in which. Uh, Pick your stuff right there. You pay with the uh, net splash pay, and then the box opens, and then you pick the box, and then you get it. It's like this. It's a granola bar. So I just tested this, and I'm 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 really surprised. Uh, well, as uh, one of my friends said, it's Singapore is at par with Japan. I think I think that's yes. Okay, I'm outside the Sky Garden right now, and I just discovered this just now, and it has. A space for cosplayers to have their own photo shoots in the landscapes of Singapore, and it's wonderful. It's around 6:13 in the evening in Singapore, and it's it feels like it's not yet evening. My friends at Anime Philippines are saying that if the sun sets in our place at 6 p.m. Uh, the sun sets here at 8 p.m. so it's around two hours allowance so yeah it's, it's still quite sunny it's, it feels like 5, 4, 5 p.m. Uh, 
Okay. How many rice? Butter rice? Rice, 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 so, rice. Carlo brought me to this uh, place uh, where he... Luklu. 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 Uh, he was able to eat here for $5 for a meal. I think that's decent enough. Uh, so yeah, I'll be trying their uh, basil chicken with the uh, rice and egg and see, let's see what the, what the taste is like. Actually, this is a special, eh? Uh, but if you are able to watch the whole series, it's about finding oneself. So, early in the morning, I'll be going to church muna uh, to pay my respects as well. As, uh, and uh, after that, balik ako sa room to get my things, to pack up for the uh, second day of Sidriapha. You know, I am, as far as I uh, experience the train and the bus, I, I'm much more confident with riding the trains more than the bus because uh, there are many bus stations in the area. So beside the, uh, the uh, complexity of the bus stations is the fact that I haven't learned it at all. The thing about the uh, riding escalators is that in the Philippines, you walk uh, on the left, stand on the right. In Singapore, you stand on the left, you walk on the right. So that's... that's cool. That's, that's odd. Quite odd. Alright, so uh, we just dropped by the Esplanade Station. I'm ready to enter Suntec City for Anime Festival Asia's 10th year, CTAFA. Okay, so. I'm here at CPAFA Singapore 2018. This is big, this is big. I just went here, I just went outside the halls yesterday. Lots of cosplayers, and the photos are already posted on Facebook. So now I am inside the X7 call and I'm going to roll around taking photos and taking great memories, great keepsakes of these activities inside.
achieve something. Woo! Thank you very much. Okay, so my next destination uh, to try this uh, kayak post that uh, I booked at Tagluk is this family cafe. I'm going to basement one. All right. just been through the drugstore to buy some uh, pain reliever and they sold these things by packs not by tablets so uh, that's something to take note of and it's this is much more expensive compared to the food the snacks and all that medicines are much expensive so what I've uh, understood here is that in Singapore mahal magkasakit one of the things that Alpha is famous for is the I Love Anisong concert featuring not just 5, 10, 15, 16 artists, so on and so forth. And they've been doing this for years on their 10th anniversary. You see here, that's whole lot 16 artists for 3 days. Very long weekend for the fans who have already booked tickets for all these three days. So I've just finished day two of CG Alpha Singapore with the I Love Anison concert and it's it's a wonderful mix of tunes from pop rock to idol and all that stuff. Yes, idols because I got you going to high sale. Alam niyo yung, alam niyo yung ano, mahirap dito. High sale has performed great song after great song and nakala ko hindi na makakapagpahinga because if they go to adrenaline right away, wala na ako adrenaline. Seryoso. As in, baka mag-uwi ko nito, hilata na ako automatic.
and a half away uh, until we see the guests and partners of AFA as they celebrate their 10th anniversary in Ito mismo sa labas ng Suntec. And we are here at what we call the Big Picture. I couldn't have imagined back then that I would be standing here to celebrate the 10th anniversary with you guys. And I'm really, truly grateful about that. May Sanders! So I have here Carlon. He's been he has participated in WCS before. I'm betting my decision on Rin and Kai. Actually Rin and I did best on the performance. I gave them 90% in my own race. In this part with the Gundam, this one made all the effects. And the story wise is also great. But uh, let's just see. But I'm hoping also within these two groups, with Nkai and with Gundam group. I uh, hope the best for these two. Uh, this is the only Singapore qualifier. So yes. one of them, and chances are, one of these two groups will be, I don't know, will be in Japan to yes. represent. Yes, Singapore, so yes. WCS. Yes. yes. So, um, I'm looking forward nga dun sa ginawa nila. Talagang, both equal sila, wala yung say. And now, the moment you all have been waiting for to present the first prize at the Mind Reserve Top Premier of Korea. Second place. So, this is the time. It's time! The winner of WCS Singapore Preliminaries 2019 is Team Risen Kai! And finally, nakatungtong na ako sa red carpet ng AFA. And, uh, well, what do you know? Very tiring, very long weekend. Siguro, this is the culmination of everything na hinangad ko siguro sa buhay as a hobbyist. 
I'm very relieved na I was able to adapt naman somehow sa ganitong uh, event. I'm looking forward to be back in the Philippines with confidence na kalmado na ako, contento na ako. And until my next journey siguro, maybe kung ano susunod na journey ko. Well, there won't be a last journey. It's more of like, what should I do next? So, with that, uh, that ends C3 Alpha Singapore 2018. Thank you very much, Alpha. Wala na pang mga hawkers dito malapit. Dito wala kasi nga natay prime stock, prime, prime estate day. Prime estate, okay. So, so alam ko na bus. May may, may kinainan kami hawker dito pero malayang malayang sa pinang take a bus. Ah, well that's one thing na hindi ko makakanasan dito sa Singapore. Wala ba sa beach road? Uh, I have no idea. So it's my first time at the Hawker Center after all the days that I've been here. And under the suggestion of Parangeli, I tried Hainanese chicken rice and uh, I got some. Uh, I was suggested the sugar cane, so I got sugar cane juice here. Um, really tasty, pero this is my breakfast only. <laughs> this is the slave breakfast only. So I'll try noodles at the other stall later on. Okay, so let's see, uh, let's taste this uh, noodle that I got for a dollar. So yeah, uh, here, I'm here at Changi Airport Terminal 4, one of the newest, uh, the newest airport rather of the Changi Airport. And this is where my flight going to Manila will be. Napakaganda, sa bagong bago pa lang. So makikita mo ang um, convenience here at my back. Yan, makikita mo mga terminals. So you can get your boarding pass, you can get your dogs, tapos uh, you can go to the bag drop area, just bag drop and then they will check. Hindi, hindi na, ano, kumbaga parang the task of handling baggage is his lesson here for the Changi Airport stop and that is really appreciated kasi ako, of course, I want to make sure na, you know, I want to make sure na things will go smoothly. And I check naman my bag. Um, although, uh, the problem with the baggage is that pag nag ka sa baggage, uh, you have to pay, uh, pay something else. Pero if I were to be asked, siguro pag marami akong dalang gamit, I'll stay for more than 4 days and all that, go buy your prepaid baggage. Go buy your prepaid baggage. It will be worth it in the long run. Kasi regardless if, you're, um, if your bag is around 7.1 kilograms or uh, so on so forth, tapos so check-in ka and all that, it will be worth it, especially if you're, uh, you're doing costumes and all that. Yeah. So this is where the people arrive to the uh, bus from the terminal two, and uh, I'll be going to immigration. I'll be exploring the rest of the airport, and hopefully, we get to uh, we get back to Manila safely and uh, hassle free. months ahead of the day. Again, I got my passport February and then I booked my plane ticket April. I changed my booking around September, October, November, December. I booked my ticket to AFA and my stay. It took me around 11 months. It took me a year to prepare for this and that does not 
include the time na I agonized myself, I pitied myself, I envied others because they went to Alpha, not once but twice. Siguro, one visit to Alpha was enough for me. Or was it enough? This, perhaps, is my first and last journey overseas. This is just one time, big time. Hindi ko na ito mararanasan. At ramdam ko, hindi ko na ito mararanasan next time around. 10th year anniversary of Anime Festival Asia. And I got the opportunity, I got the funds to go on my first overseas trip. Tamang timing lang. So, when the time comes, I hope this travel log will encourage you to explore your horizons, explore your perspective, widen it, and I'm looking forward for the next event in this place, in this country, soon. And I hope to see you there so that we can continue our discussion. Peace out.